What's up, y'all? Jeff Torpedoes and Tarantulas back one more time here tonight. And this final video is going to be uh, a Widow Slings, a Black Widow Slings update. What I'm going to attempt to do is just kind of let you know how they're doing, how I take care of them, and all of that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of talk about, like I said, how they're doing and how um, I take care of them, but I want to give a view of a couple of them, and I have noticed in taking care of them, there's a couple of ways that they live. Uh, they either take over the enclosure and web it up, and they live off the ground, you know, in the webbing, or they will web up along the ground and live along the ground. Now, to me, although I am not a Black Widow expert, experience tells me that the ones that web close to the ground are the males and the ones that build these big elaborate webs and then live up off the ground in the webs are the females so we will give you a view of both and kind of just give you a lowdown on how they're doing and how we take care of them hold on guys okay guys so here is a look although you can't see it very well this is our first look at one of the spiderlings this is one of those that just kind of um webs up the ground around it and just kind of stays um, close to the ground if you can't recognize where the spiderling is there it is right there there's a look at one of our black widow spiderlings again I'm not very experienced I cannot tell you uh, male from female at this point but I can tell you that they are growing quite well with the few that I have I just discovered uh, three enclosures in finding some of the best ones to get uh, some good angle shots on these guys. I discovered three enclosures that do not appear to have spiderlings in them, whether they died or what, I do not know. But they're not in there anymore, at least that I can see, so maybe I just need to look deeper. Now I'm going to get um, an enclosure out of one that pretty much lives in webbing off of ground and give you a view of that so here we go guys okay guys so this is kind of a macro view lens of one that lives um, in the web kind of just off the ground what a beautiful specimen right guys I just can't wait to see these guys grow up and get bigger and mature now I promised that I would kind of talk a little bit about like how I take care of them um, I basically keep them at temperatures that are comfortable for me. Uh, black widows tend to like cooler uh, temperatures and moisture environments, and that's why they will hang around a lot of times on water faucets and things like that, or they will come in your house when it gets too hot. So I keep them the same temperatures I do myself, and just like I do with my tarantulas, I will spritz them every couple of days. Um, I do not have any feeders that are small enough to feed these guys because they are still quite tiny. So what I've been doing is taking some of my other feeders, uh, be it a mealworm, which I'm out of now, or some smaller roaches, and I will put them in the freezer, euthanize them, then cut them up into small bits, and then just drop them with tongs into the enclosures and feed them. So that's how I'm taking care of them. But I do have uh, some fruit flies on order uh, they should be in some time next week I also have ordered some some of the very tiny um, centrifuge vials to that I can pack these guys in so all of you that are interested in maybe acquiring a few of these guys I will have them up for sale once I get them to a pretty decent size and I think they can survive the trip so if you would be interested in some of these just let me know that's where we're at on all of our spiders. That's the end of all my updates and feedings and rehousings I have on all my invertebrates tonight. So I really hope you enjoyed these videos this weekend. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Have a great weekend and a good start to your week next week. Take care and God bless, guys.